know it's for the conference championship, but does it mean a little extra that you got a shot at Texas again? Um, no, nah, not at all. You know, it's it's just, you know, another opportunity for us as a team to go out there and achieve the goals that we want to achieve, which is, you know, winning the Big 12 championship this year. And, you know, obviously trying to win it for the fourth time in a row is really important to us. Um, trying to do something that's never been done before. So, I mean, that's the main focus for us is just going out there, you know, competing with, with each other, um, fighting as a team and trying to get this Big 12 championship. Kenneth, was it difficult to watch the defensive tape from the first game against Texas for you guys? Uh, not at all. I mean, we obviously made some mistakes in that game and stuff like that, but um, you know we had a lot of stuff that we could build on, and we obviously had some good things that we did in that game. So you know you took took away the positives and the and the negatives, and you know we just built on it and got better as a group. So um, I'm just excited to get a chance to go out there and fight for a Big 12 championship this week. It was a game after it was over. Everybody talked about. I think you and your coaches were surprised that they were the more physical team that day. What what did you take from that? How did you guys handle kind of? you know, a game where the other team was just more dominant physically than you. Um, I mean, I feel like, like it was a lot of other things that went on throughout that game. Um, you know, not just physicality, because I feel like, you know, at times we matched their physicality, and at times, you know, we didn't match their physicality. But um, it was a lot of stuff that goes on throughout the game that, that, you know, we have to get better at. But it's a lot of stuff throughout the game that went on in that game that we did good at. So, um, you know, in the, the day, you know, we learned our lesson, and now we get a you know, a second opportunity to, to play those guys for a Big 12 championship. So that's really the focus right now is just went, trying to win the championship. So it's the main focus of our defense right now. Kenneth, okay, does it help your team any that you did this last year? You played a team a second time. You've been through this process. How much does that help you guys this year? Um, I think that gives us a great experience of, you know, just knowing that, you know, no matter, you know, what happens, you, you're going to play every Big 12 team and then you have to play somebody twice at the end of the year. So, um, I mean, it's just it's just such a mentality, just an experience that, you know, that is something that we just don't have to go through. And, you know, now that we're at the end of the road, now it's time to go out there and fight for another championship. Kenneth, what's the biggest challenge of playing against uh, Sam Ellinger? What what makes y'all's job defensively difficult when he's the quarterback? Um, I mean, he has a great arm. Um, he can definitely, you know, get the job done with his legs, stuff like that. They like to use him in the run game a lot. Um, so, you know, when you have a guy that's dual threat like that, you know, obviously you have to be, you know, cautious of his feet. Um, and also, you know, he has a, a very, very great arm. So, um, you know, a guy like that is just fun to compete against, um, and he's a great player. How important is it to prove to yourself as an athlete, as a competitor, that that game was not the real representation of who you guys were, that you want to play another game to prove that that game was a fluke? Um, I feel like this game is not even about that. Um, this game is about getting a championship. It's about, you know, trying to do something that's never been done. It's about, you know, winning the Big 12 for the fourth time. You know, nobody's ever done that before. So I feel like that's the mentality of this team. It's not more so about trying to prove anything to each other. I'm um, getting sidetracked by that. We're trying to go out there and win a championship. That's what we do here at Oklahoma is win championships. Kenneth, what is uh, Caleb moving back out uh, outside added to this defense during the last month? Um, Great, great player. Um, He's added a lot of versatility to us, a lot of physicality, twitch, and explosiveness on the edge. Um, and he's been able to be out, 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 in, out in space and, you know, play great between the receivers and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, I feel like he's just been great. He brings a lot to the table. Um, he's a great player, a great guy, and as y'all know, one of my best friends. Last year in, that, in, that, in this game against TCU, he came up with a big play. He comes up with a big play last week. Is there just something about him that is, is he just find a way to the ball? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what he does. I mean, he just has a natural knack for getting to the ball. Um, and then when he gets to the ball, you know, he, he has a knack for just getting the ball out. You know, that's his second, you know, defensive touchdown he's had in his career. So, obviously, you know, he has just a knack for getting, getting the ball out and getting to the end zone. So, you love playing with guys like that on, on your team. So, it's great having him, you know, next to me playing next what, to me. What impressed you most when you watched that back on tape? Uh, the touchdown from this week. Mm -hmm. um, just the way he came off the line. He came off the line really explosive, um, really attacked the guy, um, vertical. Um, got into him real quick and was able to, you know, overpower him. And then once he got to Will Greer, you know, he obviously, you know, sacked him and then able to just, you know, just complete the whole play. I mean, he he he, he beat the offensive line and sacked him and then picked up the fumble recovery and scored the touchdown. So, he, I mean, he did it all by himself. So, I mean, that was really impressive. Is, is he the type of guy, like, he's moved around, he's, he, he hasn't really been able to settle in a position. Is, is that, is he a guy you just always see flashes that people are always kind of intrigued to see more that, that play with him? Uh, no, nah, not really. I mean, I feel like he's he's been working his hardest. Um, obviously, you know, he started off at Will. Um, you know, they tried to put him in at Will and um, worked that. And so I feel like he was good there. Um, he was making some plays for us there. 
Um, but, you know, Curtis um, Bowden was, was in front of him, you know, playing well. And so we just moved, you know, moved him outside back to his original position. He was able to go out there and make big plays. So, I mean, he's been making big plays at, you know, every position that he's been at. So I, I think overall he's a great player. Let me rephrase. I mean, does he maybe have some freakish athletic ability maybe that we haven't seen on a consistent basis then? Uh, I think he has freeze athleticism. Period. I mean, I mean, you see it every I mean day. it's it's it's. I mean, you see it every time he steps on the field. You can see the guy. He can go out there. He can run. He can cover. Um, you know, seeing him play Sam. You know, a lot of times he's he's in over the number two receiver, able to cover a bigger guy, able to cover. Um, then he's able to come off the edge. So, you know, being versatile like that is you know definitely freakish. Kind of the, when you played TCU last year in the rematch, how did you feel as a defense? Um, having already seen him. Did you feel more prepared? Feel any different, or was it? Were you more comfortable? Maybe seeing a team for the second time at all? Uh, I mean, I felt more comfortable. Obviously, that we had played them before, so I kind of had an idea of what the playbook was like as far as scheme wise. But as far as a whole, I feel like we just were we were hungry to win the championship, and I feel like that's the same mentality this year. Um, last year, you know, going to the Big 12 championship really didn't matter who we played. We just were trying to win the championship, and I feel like that's. That's just the mentality that we have this year. We're just trying to win a championship. We're trying to win the fourth Big 12 championship in a row and trying to do something that's never been done before. Kenneth, when you have a player like Buki who struggled on Friday night, what do you tell him as a team leader to prepare for this next game? Uh, just, just you know, just learn from it. Um, you know, obviously, you know, you're going to have your struggles, especially as a freshman. You know, I went through my struggles as a freshman, so I was able to, you know, let him know, you know, I went through my struggles and, you know, you're going through your struggles right now. You know, just learn from it. You know, at the end of the day, you know, you're going to get better from it and just learn from it, grow from it, and just, just don't don't get too down on yourself. You're just a freshman. You're still a young guy. Continue to work, and, you know, you're going to be great. Kenneth, a year ago, you guys had a starting quarterback in the locker room who had a big personality, you know, very boisterous, kind of like defensive guys, really. This year, Kyler seems like he has a whole different mentality, personality. How has that changed things, and how much of an adjustment was it, even on the defensive side, to have a quarterback that was so different than Baker was a year ago? Uh, I mean, it hasn't really been too much of an adjustment. I mean, Kyler is being Kyler, and that's all that you can ask of Kyler is to be himself. And, you know, that's all that the coach is asking of him is for him to be himself and to come in and just be himself. And that's all we need him to be is himself. So um, it's not really an adjustment for anybody else. You know, we all going to be one team. We all going to be together, um, no matter what the attitude is of, you know, the quarterback or what the attitude is of, you know, K1. So we just, you know, let him be him and him being him is you know, all we need. Is it different than the locker room? Quieter this year, maybe? Uh, nah, I mean, it's, it's always been the same family, family-like locker room. So, I mean, it's going to always be that way. Touchdown uh, in the last game, kind of example of that whole uh, Fido mentality where things kind of went uh, awry for you most, most of the game, but then you made the big play there at the end. Yeah, for sure. Um, definitely, that was a big play for us. Um, it was a play that you know that that just happened, and you know, Buzzy just happened to be there to pick up the ball and take it in um, for a touchdown. You know, it was a big play. You know, obviously throughout that game, you know, we had some things that didn't go our way, but we had a lot of things that that we did well. You know, end up coming out with five total stops and. End up coming out with two two total um, defensive touchdowns, and you know that was one of the biggest biggest um, moments of the game. You know, just getting getting those scores on defense is big in a football game. So, um, you know, definitely definitely exemplifies you know Fido. Those uh, two touchdowns obviously made a huge difference in the final score. Does that do anything as a defense to vindicate what you guys, who you guys think you are? Does it do anything to wipe away all the bad commentary, whether it's social media or, or radio or whatever? Uh, I feel like in, in the, at the end of the day, you know, all the outside noise doesn't matter. Um, as a defense, that's stuff that we don't worry about. Um, we just let people talk. We we go out there and we play for each other. We do what we do for the brother next to us. You know, obviously, um, those touchdowns this week and you know all the other good stuff that we have. You know, you know those are great things, and we have a lot of stuff that we can build on going into this week. And so I feel like that's what the focus is right now. Kenneth, are you uh, keeping up with the uh, debate that now exists with you in Ohio State? And the college football ranking committee and all that kind of stuff? Uh, nah, not at all. I'm focused on winning the Big 12 championship this week. You guys are you know, playing Texas again. Um, there's been all kinds of stuff that's happened last half of the season. West Virginia player got a penalty for the horns down. Brecken Hager got reprimanded by the Big 12 for saying you guys don't play defense. Do you feel like people are trying to kind of control this rivalry a little too much? I mean, uh, I mean, I feel like it's college football. It's a rivalry. It's one of the greatest rivalries in college football. But um, this week is about winning the championship. 
And that's what we focus on winning the Big 12 championship. Does anyone want to talk to you about whether or not to put the horns down this week? Nah. Nobody said Nobody anything. Nobody said don't do that. Nobody said anything about not doing nothing. I mean, I'm going to go out there and play great football. That's what I'm focused on. As a team, that's what we're going to go out there. We're going to go out there and play football. It's not about, you know, doing anything disrespectful, doing anything like this. All we focus on is winning the championship, and that's really what matters. You know, around here, we, we like winning rings. So um, anything else, you know, doesn't really matter to us. We, we out there go out there and win a ring this weekend. But if you put the horns down, you might get a penalty. I mean, that kind of matters, doesn't it? I mean, yeah. I mean, obviously, you don't want to get a penalty. You don't want to hurt your team. So. Um, as a as a team, that's what we focus on. It's just not not hurting the team going out there, winning, having a great game, and, you know, getting a win. Have you noticed anything different between you and Texas players that you don't get in other rivalries or other games? Just your experience. Those two times you played them. What you mean? Like the, the level of talk during the game. But maybe is there more back and forth? Is is the tra is the trash talk louder, more personal? No, nah, I mean I feel like, I mean obviously the game, given the tradition, is built up throughout the week, but. I mean, it's trash talk every week. So every team we play, we trash talk out there on the field. So, I mean, it's part of the game of football. Um, it's part of playing football. It's what makes football fun. It's what, you know, makes the game the greatest game, you know, in America. So um, I feel like, you know, it's trash talk every week. It's not It's not about just this game, Texas, OU. You know, I feel like that's what's built up throughout the media. But every week, you know, it's, it's trash talk. Can I ask question? The, obviously, you, whoever you're going to play, you're going to play again. but. This game being usually October, usually State Fair, usually Cotton Bowl, the fact that it's not in that venue with that, you know, sort of <coughs> setup that's always the same, how different is that going to be? Just, just, I mean, maybe it's just a weird factor. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say weird because at the end of the day, uh, I'm not focused on the venue. Um, as a team, we're not focused on the venue. Uh, we're not focused on nothing but winning the championship. And we know that we have a championship on the line this week. Um, and that's all we're focused on is winning a Big 12 championship.